Hey, today we have a uh, Lego Creator, Jungle Animals, has a uh, picture of the build, and then it's also a 3-in-1, so we got smaller pictures of the other one, stuff like that. Product information on the bottom, and on the back, we have one of the builds, the main build, and then we got also the two other builds, and it also shows the function. You can uh, eat the food. Let's get right into the set. Uh, let me open this up. Um, got the uh, instruction booklets for the main build. Fish. Yeah, so here we got interesting parts. We got uh, a lot of parts here. Creator sets generally come with a lot of, uh, if you are if you want to build up your just basic system, like just Lego bricks, sis, I, I think a Creator is your way to go. I mean, this kind of set, generally pretty inexpensive, and they come with a lot of parts. I mean, look at all these parts, and uh, we got a bunch of, this set came with a lot of, like, Mixel eyes. I guess this is a spare. Um, these are kind of cool, another... It's uh, like a dark tan, maybe? And a lot of Mixel joints, these new joints I quite like. And just generally, like, just fun little parts. Just really, like, just useful pieces. I mean, look at that. You don't get many of those, like, little square pieces in a lot of sets, but... Yeah, just, just some good parts in here. Um, I like what I'm seeing. So yeah, let's uh, go right on building. Yeah, so uh, we got the build here, and um, this is build one. This is the one pictured on the main box. So, starting small, we got a little fly. I like his eyes, just putting them really anywhere. Uh, that's not really supposed to happen, I don't think. <laughs> um, he's just a little fly, but I think he's for the frog, because the frog can open his mouth and has a little, like, stud connection piece. He can eat the fly. Something? Here we go. Um, and he can catch the catch the fly. Frog's legs move. Stuff like that. His front legs move a little bit. Um, yeah, and of course the mouth. And the mouth is actually on one of those mixel ball joints, so you can like got some like wiggle there. Like really like pretty free movement. Like it's can move that much. Yeah. And uh, fly, you don't really need to move. Um, comes with these pellets for food, I guess. You can eat that. But I think these are for the parrot. Oops. And, um, parrot, uh, he, he got his eyes, I can spin, because they're on little, uh, joints there. Uh, his wings are on ball joints, so very movable. You could do whatever you want with those. 
And also the feathers are... Actually, I really like the feathers. They look very nice. Uh, you can, like, fold them back or anything. You can kind of just tuck them away. That looks like... That looks very good. Um, little tail feather moves a little bit. And, uh... Oh, legs. You've got, uh... Them on a swivel up there. And then they've also got a ratchet joint here. And these are all on ratchet joints, so... I mean, if you want to land them on a branch or something... I don't know how you would keep them up, but, uh... Because he's a little top-heavy, because that large head... He's kind of, kind of, like... Got almost like a cartoon style. Uh, like... Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit of a cartoon style. Uh... Yeah, because, like, the eye and stuff like that. Like, look at that. <laughs> I love that little fly. Um, yeah, so you could... Uh, really good arc articulation on these, uh, especially the macaw. Here you got the parrot like with the wings, and individual feather movement, and you've also got the beak opens up here, you got like the bottom jaw here, the top here. So there's the, like, the beak action, and uh, <laughs> here's the function. Uh, not something I expected from LEGO set, but it's kind of funny. You put the... he eats the pellets. And, uh, the, the, the tail. And he kind of just drops them out. And... <laughs> I wish you could see my face right now, but, uh... <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's... Well, uh... <laughs> it's a really silly function. I, uh, really unexpected. I like I I didn't really look too much into this set before I before I got the set, and uh, I was really surprised when I saw that because it's at the end of the instructions. It shows the functions, right? Uh, right at the end, it shows that you can. Uh... Yeah. So <laughs> there's that. Um, now we got the. Uh... But yeah, like a good, uh, something like that on a shelf. I mean, I think that's a good, uh, that's a good display piece. That's really good, like, and also just fun to play with. Just, like, it's fun to move around his wings and just, just do whatever you want with him. Like, he, he's got a lot of moving parts. Um, yeah, feathers are really fun. I love these wings. Very nice, very simple too. Just a uh, normal, normal little like connection points. Just I don't know, just the colors and very colorful also. Very nice range of colors. And uh, yeah, uh, let's move on to the next build. So here we got the uh, the piranha. I think yeah, it's got little teeth. I uh, I can't really take it apart here. Let's see. There we go. It, it uses the eyes as teeth. I love that. That's great. Um, I like the little it has a little nose right there. I don't know if fish have noses, but yeah, I think they do. Um, red is kind of out of place, I guess. But like, I don't. I don't see any more of these, like, kind of, these kind of pieces, so... But, like, I, I think probably they could have come with these in a different, I don't know, what color were they in the... Oh, in the Macaw, yeah. They use them on the side of the head. I feel like these would have been better in either blue or green, maybe. Probably blue. I would have liked that. 
um, he's got his little eyes, or actually large eyes, and, uh, not as much arc articulation on this, because, yeah, it's a fish, it's got his one ball joint of articulation there, ratchet joint for there, oops, <laughs> that kind of just flew off, um, his tail fin moves like that, and, uh, yeah, very colorful, well, not as colorful as the macaw, but, uh, still very tropical, very, uh, uh yeah, I, I guess there's not too much to say about this one, um, I like the curvature on the side, not, like, make it so that it's less, uh, less just straight, because really the entire thing is just two studs wide, look at that. Is, the entire thing is like that. It's got little fins down here, back here, and uh, yeah. All, yeah, all you really do is move the fins, and this is more of a display and less, uh, less like, I guess a little less playability to this one. Um, this is probably, yeah, um, I don't know, I just don't have much to say. Let's just, uh, let's just go on. Yeah, and, oh, also, lots of extra pieces. I don't know if you can see all of these, but... But, like, definitely you can build something else with this, if you want. I don't know what. Uh, maybe another jungle animal to go with the fish. Uh, maybe another fish. I don't know. Um, yeah, it comes with extra eyes. You still have spare eyes in these. You, you do have a lot of extra pieces with this one. Um, so if you want to, like keep something from this set, um, I'm going to assume that this one uses the least amount of pieces. I don't know, I still have to see the other build. Uh, it looks like this uses the least amount of pieces, and if you want to still keep something from this set, and yet still use parts from this, it looks like this would be the best choice, I guess. But yeah, still a lot of extra pieces, you can still build something with it, still a lot of fun. Uh, let's go on to the next build. Um, okay, so we got the chameleon here. Um, one of my favorite animals. <laughs> uh, he's, these are back legs. Are, uh, kind of this. Not an axle, not an axle. Uh, pretty good turn joint. On a ratchet here at the hip and then ankle, another ratchet joint. Same thing for the other leg. Uh, wrist ratchet joint, and then mixel ball joint for this front leg, so that's nice. Uh, mixel joint also for the neck, and uh, I guess this is a tongue, and he's got his eyes, got kind of a white belly, and ratchet joint up uh, where the tail connects to the body, and then the rest are just normal swivel joints. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this build, I like the, uh, I like, I like chameleons. I like the, uh, the crest that you got here, this like kind of goes down and then up again. And the eyes do turn because they're kind of just, they're just put there. So the eyes, and because like, it, it's not an even part, I, I don't know what to, it's like a roof part. So the eye really does, you, you do get a good like, kind of independent turning eye. Oops. When you do that, so like, you turn it any which way and you, you do get a good like, 
range of vision. I don't, I don't really know to, how to describe it, but I, I like it. It's a, it's a great idea. I would say um, probably these would look a lot better if the eyepiece of this roof part was green. I, I would have liked it better if it was this color. Um, it would have flowed more into the head. Uh, yeah, I, I guess, like, yeah, that probably would have looked a lot better if it was green. I think it would be a much more successful build, but nevertheless, I do like the build itself. Um, it, it looks like a chameleon. It does. The, they pulled off the head really well, like, tongue sticking out. <laughs> it's got, like, an extra joint there. I don't know why that's there, but, you, again, you, with the, like, with the fish, uh, you do have a lot of spare parts around here. You still have those two large eyes, and, uh, three of these, one of these is a spare. Uh, got these parts there. In fact, you could probably, no, maybe not. I was gonna say maybe you could build the fly still, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, um, another one, just like the fish, like, good to, uh, keep, if you want to keep something from this build, um, and still have leftover parts. I'd say this is another one, just like the fish, where still have extra parts, and you've got a nice build, and, uh, I like this a bit better than the fish, personally, uh, you may think differently, but, in my opinion, I, I just like, maybe it's just that I like chameleon better, I don't know. But uh, I like the chameleon. I, I really do. So uh, let's do like a complete overview. Of okay, it. so like, I'm gonna do like a final review because can't have all three sets or all three uh, builds all at once. But uh, I just have the chameleon right here. Um, yeah, overall a very a good set. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, it's like fifteen dollars in the U.S. and like, all, all countries around like fifteen to twenty dollars. So, and you get a very good amount of pieces. Like I have some of the pieces here, plus the pieces in this. You do get a good amount of pieces. You get actually a lot of pieces. So I don't know the part count, but uh, very good amount. Well, you don't get this. <laughs> That's mine. Um, yeah, you get a good amount of pieces, you get a very wide range of color, you get like, you get a nice, you get your red, black, blue, keto orange, the dark blue, yellow, green, white, and like, a sort of other colors, and uh, yeah, you, you, you get a lot of parts, um, good for like, if you want to, uh, build up your, like, system, your, your just regu regular Lego bricks, very good. Creator sets are always, uh, they're generally really well priced and, uh, just, like, a lot of parts that they, uh, I wish people focused a bit more on them, because they, they generally aren't bad, they're, they're pretty good sets, pretty solid builds, um, I would say for maybe the people making these, Maybe, like, when you make the main set, when you make, here, the macaw, I would say that when you make the other two, you take into consider, like, I like the bills themselves, but maybe there are some things with color that I would change, like, uh, maybe change some colors on the main build, and really, like, when you're, because it's a three in one, and some people are going to build say, the fish, instead of the, instead of the main macaw. I would say, really, when you're making it, think of all, like, all three builds. Really, like, how, how, how can I say, like, make, make sure all three builds are really well-rounded. I would make them really equal, like, like, same, like, with the fish and the, cha and the chameleon's eyes, I mentioned, like, they should have been red instead of green. That's that's up for debate. Like chameleons, they change color. Uh, like yeah, I would say like really focus on all three. Maybe um, have three different copies of the build, and uh, when you're building them, have all three different builds and make them equal. Maybe have them. 
uh, on the box it has the main build and then it has the other two builds. Maybe even like for box art, it just shows it's divided in three and it has, um, and it has like, here you go, like you have the main build and then just has like smaller pictures of the other builds. Have all three bot like have have all three builds. Have the make it make make all of them. Make all of them great. Make all of them good. Like make them make them equal. Put them put them as equal on the on the box. Put them like instead of having like big picture main build and small like other two builds. Make it like that. I would say that should be more of a focus, maybe a dividing line between the three so that people know that it's three different builds. Make it like really like you could like you can have all of them. I, but I, this set I would say probably the chameleon is my favorite. Uh, and some people might no, some people might fish, some I I like the frog too and the fly. So it really comes down to preference on what you want to build, and I think that's the general idea in 3-in-1, is that you can have all of them. There, or you can have whichever one you want. You could have, like, yeah, you, you, could, you get to choose what you want to build. And I built all of them, so I saw them, not side to side, but I saw one right after the other, and I get to see which ones I like, which ones, like, so... Yeah, I would say, uh, 